In today's video, I'm going to show you a nice new feature of Merging Maps, which is called Position Tracking. With this feature, users can record their movement history while surveying. The feature works on both Android and iOS devices, even when the app is in the background. Click the plus sign to add a new basic QGIS project. You can choose your workspace and give the project a name. Here I call it Forest Walk and I create it in the default location. You can also choose to make the project public, so others can download your project too. It fetches the data from the Merging Cloud Service, and we are ready to start with our basic project. The first thing that we need to do is to zoom into our survey study area, and then we go to the project properties to do some settings. Go to the View Settings tab, and there you can set the project full extent, which should be the map canvas extent. In this way, we limit the app to the extent of our map canvas. Let's go to the Merge in Map Settings tab. There I'm going to focus on the position tracking. And under position tracking, you can enable the position tracking and you can choose between uh, best for the best available accuracy, but that will cause a high battery use because it collects more than one update per minute. If you set it to normal, you optimize it for battery life and you have one update per minute or 100 meter traveled. And with low, you can have a higher battery life. You could enable snapping, but in my case, I will uh, probably go sometimes off track. So I keep the default settings for snapping, which means no snapping. Now you can see that in the layers panel, the tracking layer is added, which is a line string layer. If I open the attribute table, I can see attributes like start and end time and the user that collects the data, as well as the distance. So now we are ready to synchronize this project with the cloud. If I click the synchronize button, it will prompt me that I have to save the changes to the project. So let's do that first. And then you'll get the pop-up for the synchronization and click the sync button. Now your project has been successfully synchronized with the merging cloud. And we're ready to go into the field. Now go to Merge in Maps on your mobile device. I assume that you've already logged in. There, go to the Projects tab and find the project. Tap the Download button, and then go to the Home screen. There you can tap on the name of the project, and then it will open. So let's go. To start Position Tracking, tap More, Position Tracking, and then tap Start Tracking. Now you can see at the top of the screen that position tracking is running. There's one more useful setting. So go to more and settings and then switch to follow GPS with map. So let's get going and uh, see how our position tracking is working. And every time we encounter something interesting, I'll add picture. Tap Synchronize when you're done with mapping. Back in the office, in the Merging Maps toolbar, click the arrow button to synchronize, and here you see which files will be synchronized, which includes a lot of pictures. When the project is downloaded and synchronized, you can uh, see this pop up. So here we see the result of the field data collection, the tracking layer and the survey layer. Let's have a look at the attribute table of the tracking layer. There we see for each segment of the track a feature with its start time, end time, total distance, and the person who tracked it. 